Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, I'm Neva, this is Reading with Neva, and today we are going to be doing a whip and chat. Whip and chats are back, but today we're going to be doing what is technically a kit up and chat after I kit down this kit. So I started this Paint the Moon kit last year um, because I received it as a birthday gift. I'm going to kit it down because I'm not current, it's not a current whip that I'm working on. So I'm going to kit it down into baggies so that I can store the baggies on their own. And then I am going to be kitting up this Poe painting today, um, which is the last painting in the Teletubby set. And this is a round. So I really need a round in my life. So we have the drills here for Poe. We have our little sticker sheet for Poe, but I want to use this container because there are a lot of small containers in here. So I'm going to kit this down and then, yeah. So I have my timer set next to me and we're just going to chat. So if you've never been here before and you have never experienced a, um, whip and chat before whip stands for work in progress this one is mine obviously and chat means that we're gonna chat so we're gonna talk for about an hour and we're just gonna do some life update stuff i don't think i've done a whip and chat since march i think was the last one that i actually filmed and then i think it went up in like april or may so we're just gonna we're gonna go with it i don't really know what we're gonna talk about um sometimes we talk about books sometimes we talk about life whatever so how are we how are you i am good uh we are finally getting most of the way settled now so life is a little bit easier ari is going to be starting school here again in like 30 days so we're excited for that she's very excited to be going to um first i'm sorry going to second grade she's a little bit sad about having to leave her first grade teacher but otherwise we're thriving and surviving i am still working at taco bell which may or may not be changing who knows and yeah we're just we're living life you know what i mean so let me think about what we could talk about um i know that people have been asking if i have watched I think there's a new, is it The Other Way, I think, um, for 90 Day Fiance. I've not watched it yet. I need to actually catch up on all of my reality TV, so I'm a little bit behind. I will catch up so that we can talk about it next week for sure, um, because I'm not the biggest fan of 90 Day The Other Way. It usually tends to be like another cast of characters that I have to remember um, but sometimes they will bleed over from one to the other. So they'll, so like you'll get people from, um, 90 Day the other way. You'll also get them on 90 Day Fiance, um, which is always fun and, and cool and grand, but I'm very behind. I haven't been watching a ton of TV because what I have been doing is reading. So the Amazing Readathon took place in June. So I spent basically the entire month reading. I was a producer, so I wasn't on like a specific team. Um, we hopped, producers hopped teams. I think there were five of us and producers hop teams every month or every leg, not every month, every leg. So we were, I was always on like a different team. Honestly, I thought that it was fun. Um, it was, more chaotic this year because of the aspect of being a producer but i volunteered to be one and i thought that it was super fun um just to see how different teams strategize plus you kind of knew like we knew things um that other people did not know so it was really fun i enjoyed it i didn't read i don't think any more than average book wise let me adjust check story graph really quick um but i think average wise like i read about the same amount of books that i would usually read in a month um but i also told myself that for um amazing readathon this year i wasn't going to like b 
beat myself up about it if I didn't read a ton of books. So yeah, I did read a total of 10 books. So a book a leg. And I think that I did well. You know what I mean? I did finish 10 books, which is about average for me. I tend to read between five and 12 books a month. Um, like on a like a good like regular decent month where I'm just reading a lot um sometimes it's more than that especially if I'm doing some kind of a challenge like 30 and 30 but most of the time um I'm reading between five and ten books so ten books for the month I thought was really really good I had some duds I mean I guess we could talk about them um most of my books for June were good we'll just do like a, a mini wrap up because I don't really do wrap ups on my channel although this month I will be doing so this is July when I'm filming this and um this month I will be doing a vlog style wrap up which I think is so fun I did these last year I kind of played with different ways of doing wrap ups last year so I did some that were like live streams I did some that were vlog style and then I did some that were just you know your your regular regular wrap up and I don't find joy in doing like the sit down style um wrap ups where you just like sit and talk about each of the books I don't enjoy that so I'm gonna do try to do a vlog style one this year this month it will mean that if I finish a book while I'm at work I will have to wait to film the clip for it but I'm really having grace with myself on that and I'm like okay girl you can like no one's gonna know if you film all the clips in the same day or whatever so there might be times where like you get more than one book in an update at a time but that's totally fine so I did read the gunslinger this is the first book in the dark tower series by Stephen King this is a series that my boyfriend wants me to read he really enjoys this series and he was like you should read this so I am and um I gave it five stars um I thought it was really good um I'm a little bit confused as to what's going on I don't know that I'm quite smart enough reading wise for sci-fi and this is like a sci-fi fantasy book um so I can't really tell you a lot about it because I'm not 100% sure that I know what's going on but I am waiting for the second book and as soon as I get the second book um everything else is basically getting dropped for me to read it but I'm waiting on it from Libby and there was like weeks out hold on it so we're just waiting on that the next book that I have finished I didn't start this book in June but I did finish it in June and that's Funny Story by Emily Henry this was my May book club book for the that's what she read book club and I'll try to remember to link this down below because I had some people last month ask me um like during vlogs and stuff about this um book club you do have to pay for it it's run through Kajabi and it's part of the um hustle sanely bff like package that you get um and by that i mean like if you're a bff then you don't have to pay for book club it's part of your price um i unfortunately did not get to sign back up for the bffs i miss the bffs so much um, I used to be a Hustle Sailing BFF and then with having to move and everything I had to give something up and unfortunately that was the biggest expense that could be kind of pushed aside. It For a long time it was a non-negotiable for me because the community aspect of the BFFs is really what I needed and it still is what I need. So. I'm going to be trying to rejoin here very, very soon, um, probably in the next round, but I missed this round. I just didn't have the funds for this round, so I will be trying to join for the next round. And But if you are a host Stanley BFF, then you get book club for free. Like I said, it's part of your thing, or it's not for free, but it's part of your pricing. Otherwise, I believe it's $10 a month for just book club. Um, oh wow, that's a lot of items. <laughs> which is what I pay. I pay just $10 a month and then 
you get like a whole community um everything is run through kajabi so like you get an entire community and you can talk to everybody about the books we do a couple of she calls them readathons but they're basically like hour long like an hour long sprint so we get like I think we do two a month because usually she does one that's like on a Wednesday that I can't make and then she does one that's on like a Saturday that I do show up for and I just pull it up on my computer or my phone and we all read together for an hour and that's it so super fun and then we have like live discussions at the end of the month I gave this book six stars this was a six star book for me I absolutely loved this book I love Emily Henry as an author anyway but something about this book hit different for me and I absolutely loved Miles so no Miles hate on this channel I also loved Daphne I just loved the two which are the two main characters I just loved them and like their dynamic this was an interesting concept that I'd never heard before because it's fake dating but it's ex-fiance it's ex-fiance's new fiance's ex-boyfriend trope which i had never seen done before but like my so miles and daphne um are in relationships not with each other so daphne is engaged to this man i think his name was patrick and um miles is dating patrick's best friend priya i think is her name and basically what happens is at their at his bachelor party um he decides that he's actually in love with Priya and he breaks up with Daphne and is like I'm so sorry I didn't know that I was in love with her blah 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 they get together right and they move and they like get engaged really fast and like invite over to the wedding and because this happens Daphne has to move out of the house that she shares with I think his name is Patrick that's what I'm gonna call him but she has to move out of the house that she shares with her ex and she moves in with Miles and a love ensues and I mean it starts with fake dating but we know how fake dating always goes so I absolutely love that book it was six stars for me um it will definitely be a book that I reread in the future. I just thought it was so cute. And then I read All Systems Red, which is the first book in the Murderbot Diaries. I think a lot of us read this this month, but this was another sci-fi book. Um, this one got me points, I think. I think this was a sightseeing book that was like a book that Brie gave five stars or something. And yeah, I absolutely loved it. Um, I absolutely love this book. I probably will continue the series at some point. I will say that I tried reading this on Kindle Unlimited because it is on there and I did not know what was going on. I ended up having to switch and get the audiobook off of Hoopla. But once I got the audiobook, like, I don't know, it was really good. Like, I just, I really like this book. So I gave it five stars. And then I read Slaying the Shadow Prince, which is Mortal Enemies to Monster Lovers by Helen Schurer. I gave this one four stars. I did listen to the audio for this one, and the audio was pretty good. The storyline was good. It's a romanticy, like a monster romanticy, and it was good. Like it was a fun, it was a fun time. There was some smut. I wouldn't call it like the smuttiest thing I've ever read because it definitely wasn't. Um, but it was fun. It was a fun time. Then Katie and I had the Housemaid is Watching Sprints this month um, in June so that we could read the last Housemaid book which is the Housemaid is Watching so we finished out that buddy read slash trilogy and I gave it 4.5 stars. I liked this one better than the second one and just as much as the first one. So my order for these books as far as like enjoyment was I liked the first one the most this the third one and then the second one so i know everybody has like a different lineup this series was a complete trip like it, i i don't know it was crazy i just thought that this series was nuts like i there were twists and turns i felt like i would think that i had figured something out and then i might have figured part of it out but i never figured out all of it i don't know it was great i really enjoyed that book so i gave it 4.5 I then listened to an Audible original called What the Hex by Alexis Daria. I gave this book two stars. So the dialogue was terrible. 
Um, I really don't have anything nice to say about this book, so I'm just not going to. But I did not enjoy this. I read it for Face Off, and I just... I vibed with it for a little bit, and then the dialogue came in, and I was like, what am I listening to? You know? So I gave it one two stars. Not my favorite. People have told me to try some other books by her, that this is not, like, a good representation of her as an author. So I may um at some point try something else by this author then also for face off i read dark olympus um the like prequel novella called stoneheart so um this one i actually read with my eyes it was like 88 pages long it was really good it was cute it was fast it was what it was you know what i'm saying uh brie actually told me to get this one and it is or at least when i grabbed it last month it was free on kindle so if you want just like the kindle version of it it's free i am probably going to end up buying this entire series physically i already own the first one called what is it called i don't know but i already own the first one neon gods um so stoneheart is a prequel novella it's medusa and somebody medusa and calypso and it's lgbtq um because medusa and calypso are you know lesbians it's a sapphic romance um but i really like this one it was five stars i gave it five stars and i don't give novellas five stars so that should tell you a lot because usually with a novella I need more but I think because I know that I have neon gods I can pick that up at any point and continue the series so so fun the next one I read for face off or the last one I read for face off rather was more me with you by Alex Birdie this one was suggested to me by um or recommended to me by Crystal this is also an audible original so I listened to this with my ears and I enjoyed this one this one was like a trans romance um it was cute uh it's male male but one of the men is is transgender so yeah I enjoyed it it was fine it was a fun time I get four stars and then I read To Bleed a Crystal Bloom. I gave this one two stars. This was uh, this was my pick for Naughty Nice Book Club. I'm so sorry. I didn't ever want dirty with this one. Like, I did not enjoy this book. I'm going to be honest. Um, I wanted to enjoy it. I really did. But unfortunately, I did not enjoy it. Um, give me... One second, my camera is about to die. Mm. All right, we got it. All right. All right. I think I've got her charging. Okay, so anyway. Um, to bleed a crystal bloom. I did not enjoy this book. Um, there's a part in it that gave me the ick. Um, because the love interest that we're supposed to be like rooting for or whatever, he ha he like rescued her and has been raising her in this or helping raise her in this castle since she was three years old, and that made me feel gross. I know that um Cassidy and Mel also read this book I talked to Cassidy about it on sprints during Amazing Readathon and she kind of had the same reaction to this as I did and I have to agree with her because she says this in her wrap-up so go watch it um I have to agree with her that if we didn't get the prologue it probably wouldn't have bothered me because we wouldn't have known the history but because we got the prologue and we know that he rescued her when she was three years old um it gave me the ick and i didn't i didn't enjoy that i didn't like it so that's fine i will be reading when the moon hatched i do like this author's writing style that's not what bothered me it was just the context and like con 
I don't know. It was just the stuff in the book that bothered me. Um, so I probably, or no, I will be reading When the Moon Hatched. I don't know when, but I will be reading that. I have it on Kindle Unlimited. And yeah, I will be reading that. And I do think I ordered the, or pre-ordered like the hard cover that has the pretty edges on it as well. So yeah, I will be reading that. But this one, I don't know that I'll be continuing this series. It does leave me on a cliffhanger. So like I could continue the series with hopes that it gets better. Um, but with that ick factor, I just, the longer I think about it, the less inclined I am to continue the series. The next, and then the last book that I read for the month was Horror Store I gave, by Grady Hendrix. I gave this one three stars, which actually makes me really sad because I love Grady Hendrix. He's an auto by author for me. I bought this on Kindle because of the fact that it was like, I think like $3 or something. And I was like, we love Grady Hendrix. And then I didn't love this book. I just didn't care. It's supposed to be like a creepy Ikea story. I'm contemplating buying the physical book just because I want it and I think it looks cool and trying and seeing if immersion reading it is a little bit better um, because then I can like look at the pictures and stuff of all of the furniture. But I did this on audio and I didn't enjoy it. So yeah, that's that for that. You know what I mean? So we'll move on. So that's my reading update. And then currently right now I'm reading Ricochet by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This is a, this is the second book in the Addicted Calloway Sister series. I read Addicted to You last year and I gave it five stars. I've actually changed my rating on Goodreads to six stars just because I do six star ratings now. And this is definitely like a book like a favorite book of all time for me. Um, you can read these books on Kindle Unlimited. You could not when I started reading them. So I ordered them, like I bought them on my Kindle. Um, there's a total of 10 books and I'm on book two. So, but this was for my continuing series. I'm also reading The Arc of Bad Tourists. I'm contemplating DNFing this. I do not love pop culture references in my books. I don't like it. It's one thing if like they're ambiguous, like if you are saying like she posted on her social media news feed or something. Like I understand that like social media and like TV and stuff is part of our world. What I don't like is when we use specific names for things. So if we're specifically dropping Instagram or like I read a hockey romance where both the characters were watching you like the show on Netflix and they kept talking about she was watching you season two of you on Netflix. And here's the thing in the moment it can put me in the space and I can relate to it. What I don't like about it is that a lot of times it makes it so that these books don't age very well um because the things that they're talking about aren't super relevant after the time period that they were written in and so i don't i don't i don't love that i just don't you know and then i'm also still working on the veiled kingdom this one is taking me a while to read just because there's no audio for it and it is a fantasy i think it's romanticy um but it is a fantasy book and it's pretty, there is a lot of fantasy stuff in it. Like there's a lot of like world building and stuff. And so it is taking a little bit to get through that one. And then I'm also reading The Bandit Queens, which I'm not going to talk about here because that's getting its own like vlog. But I am reading The Bandit Queens. I need to finish it. I'm really just lollygagging around and there's two other books that I have to read for this specific project that is part of this so yeah that is it really though for a reading update as far as like personal life stuff I'm still working I'm still working and thriving out here um like I said Ari is about to start school again so we're just trying to get through the rest of the summer it's been really hot um, because it's summertime, but other than that, everything is good and great and wonderful. Um, I know people see, like, Ryan on sprints and stuff sometimes. That's still going wonderful. And, yeah, we're just, we're just hanging out. So, I don't really know what else to talk about. I'm going to be 
really honest and I haven't even started kidding up I'm still kitten down um let's talk um okay so I do have a new TBR game up on my channel I know that some people have watched it um but I do have a new TBR game up on my channel so if you want to see how that's played what I do with it the whole object of this game is to read down the books that I own so I'm trying to decide because I'm not going to get through all the books that I own by the end of the year even like the physical ones um and I want to explain something because some I did get a couple of messages about this no one commented directly on the video but I did get a couple of like dms about this specific thing so when I say that the okay so I don't read physical books um by that I mean that I like don't usually I don't pick up a book and read it with my eyes physically paper books right I read basically everything on my kindle or in audio format and I knew that I would set myself up for failure if I made myself follow the format of the book that I was reading. So here is what we're doing. Because I don't know that I explained it very well in my thing because people seem to still be a little bit confused. So I'm going to explain. If I roll, if I spin and it lands on physical book, that simply just means my physical TBR. It doesn't mean that I have to read the book physically. It just simply means um, that I have to read it and it has to be a book that I own. That's all that means. That's it. That's all. Um, because I, like I said, I'm not going to read a physical book so if I spin and I get I'm trying to think of a book that I got um power oh uh, well not powerless that's not a bad example because I'm actually reading that let's say that I got house of what is that house of hollow okay let's say that I got house of hollow right I got house of hollow I own that physically like it's physically on my shelves I can read it in any format that I want so I can I can decide to grab the audiobook from the library I can decide to grab the ebook from Libby or buy or even purchase the ebook but it's just that when it comes to like my spreadsheet and stuff I will count it as a physical book not physically read because that's not how I chart my physical books but like on Storygraph I will show the the format that I read it in just like I would on my on my um spreadsheet and then what I will do is I will go in to Storygraph because you can do tags in Storygraph and I will tag it as a physical book and the reason I'll tag it as a physical book is because then I know that I read it off of my physical TBR so I'm I knew that telling myself like hey if you roll for a physical book if you roll for a book off of your physical TBR you have to read it physically I just won't read them I'm gonna be honest I just won't read them because it takes me so long to read physical physical books that I will get annoyed with myself that I'm not reading it fast enough the only exception to this is that I may because I'm giving myself two months to do my patreon picks I may do powerless and powerful is that what it is yeah powerless and powerful because I'm doing a tandem read for that I may do that physically because I can read a little bit of each one like I can read like the section for the first section of each and then move on to something else and then the next day do the same thing so I may end up spacing it out that way to read it that way that way I'm reading that physically just because that will be easier to read physically than it will to be for me to read it um on my kindle i just feel like it will be a pain to read on my kindle unless i get just powerless like if i get one on my kindle and then read the other one physically i might do that actually i may go ahead and read i don't know i have the books tabbed which is why i'm thinking that i will do it physically is because i do have my books tabbed so i know where to stop like start and stop <sighs> But we'll see. We will see. 
So I just wanted to explain that. But we do have a physical or a TBR, a new TBR game. I did end up rolling for a new. Oh no. Anyway, I did end up rolling for a new book for one of my TBR game picks, and that was for Sizzling Hot Daddy. Um, I yeeted that book straight off my Kindle. Um, I didn't even like wait around to be honest. Like I didn't even like D like I didn't even count it as a DNF. I just deleted it. And the reason is because that book was terrible. So like literally so bad. Um, there were lines in that book that I was like, or a line in that book that I was like, mm, nope, that gives me the ick. Moving on. Um, so I ended up re spinning and I did film the respin and I did explain like hey we're gonna respin for this book because I still want to have the six books for my kin for my game um so when I finish ricochet I will probably start the book that I respun for so yeah we're getting closer we're getting closer it's the last one and then we can start kidding up um, let me think. What else? Um, we've done a lot of fun things this summer. So, our town doesn't have a movie theater anymore. So, they've done, I think, two movie in the park nights, which has been really fun. We went to both. So, the first one was for Toy Story 3. And then the second one was a double feature. It was a Marvel. It was up first and then there was a marvel movie avengers maybe um i don't know we didn't stay for the marvel movie because none i mean we went for it you know what i mean plus like avengers started at like 9 p.m or something crazy and i was like we're not no we're not gonna stay until we for that um if you were on sprints the night that we did that one then you'll remember it because i like set a really long sprint and we went to the movie and then we came home we also went and Ari had, I think this was her second movie theater experience because I think, I'm pretty sure I took her to see Ice, Ice, no, I'm pretty sure I took her to see Frozen 2 in the theater. And we went and saw Inside Out 2 in the theater and it was very fun. We went and saw that in July um, or at the end of June and we were already going to be in the city. Okay, we're going to start kidding up Poe now um but we were already going to be in the city so I was like we're going to, we went to my baby cousins by baby cousin I mean he's like a year younger than Ari um my baby cousin's birthday and I was like okay well since we're already going to be in the city for that why don't we go see a movie and there was a movie theater like two minutes or something away from where the party was being held so i was like this is kismet like we're gonna go do it it's gonna be so fun so we went and saw inside out too i was actually able to do everything online so like i ordered our snacks online i ordered like i picked our seats online like i did everything online the only thing that i'll do differently next time is i'll make sure that we get there um earlier because we got there and like the credits were already starting like the previews and yeah so what i'll do next time is i'll just make sure that we get there um just earlier just because it was kind of it was hard to find our seats in the dark and it was like disturbing to people so like if we'd gotten there a little bit earlier we could have found our seats quicker i think and we like sat in the wrong seats at one point like it was it was kind of a mess so that's the only thing that i would do differently um is just get to the movie theater earlier and not like right like i think we got there right as the movie was starting or something i don't know but the credits had already or the yeah the credits and previews had already started and so like people were already like in their seats and everything um which like is fine i just would have preferred to get there a little bit earlier but that's that's okay because we were literally two minutes away like yeah we were literally like two minutes away and then we pulled in and we parked and it was whatever 
Um, but also, like, we went on a Saturday. So that's probably another thing. Ari already wants to go see more movies in the theater. So I have to, I'm like, Moana 2 is coming out this year. And actually, it might already be out, that one. But I know she wanted to go see a couple of other movies. Um, and so we're going to try to take her to go see it. Um, yeah, so Moana 2 comes out in November. So I think we're going to make a plan to take her to go see Moana 2. Um, because she was really excited to see that one. And I would like her to see it in the theater. I think it would be a fun time. But we did see Inside Out 2. Listen, I give that movie a million stars out of five. Um, it was so good. I actually think I liked Inside Out 2 more than I liked Inside Out. And that's saying a lot for me because I don't tend to like sequels more than the original. But um, the depiction of anxiety and the depiction of nostalgia was so, so good. But especially of anxiety. I'm not going to tell you the other, um, like, I'm personally not going to tell you the other, um, emotions that were in the movie just because I do feel like it could be spoilers, um, because I haven't seen the other emotions really talked about. I've seen anxiety talked about and I've seen nostalgia talked about, but I haven't really seen the other um new emotions talked about um but i i just thought that this movie was done so so well um i cried i'm gonna be honest with you i i definitely cried um when we were really seeing like the depiction of anxiety it just i don't know a movie has movies don't usually make me feel like super seen or anything but this movie definitely did and it was really really good i absolutely loved this movie so there's that so yeah we saw inside out two and then we just did a lot of sprints this month or last month because of the amazing reason um, I was on a lot of sprints. I ran a lot of sprints. There was just sprinting everywhere. You know what I mean? And like this month is a little bit more chill. Um, since I'm doing mid-year scramble with Margaret. I don't know why the inside of this tray is so dirty, but it's actually bothering me. Um, but this, this month I'm doing mid-year scramble with Margaret. And so... A mid-year scramble is like, in my opinion, the perfect kind of readathon to go into after you do a big readathon like um, the Amazing Readathon. I feel like these two readathons really like complement each other very well because the Amazing Readathon it's competitive, it's fast-paced, um, and then mid-year scramble it's just about hitting your own personal goals, and so it's a lot more like chill and. Um, like I guess low pressure not that I think I don't necessarily think that um meteor or uh the amazing readathon is like high pressure but it is a competitive readathon so there is a little bit more of like a pressure on it I guess um but meteor scramble is just super super chill like it's just super chill it's just about hitting your own goals and not necessarily worrying about anything else and so I do think that going from um, TAR to um, Mid-Year Scramble is nice, you know? It's a nice change of pace. So, yeah. And I do have books that I'm reading for that. I'm also just kind of, I decided, because my goal is, for Mid-Year Scramble is to read books that I own, right? And originally my goal was just to focus on Kindle books that I own. But then I was like, girl, you have so many books that you own that are Kindle, oops, Kindle, audio, whatever. And it taught, Meteor Scramble works really well with my reading, what? With my TBR game, because the whole point of my TBR game is to read down what I own, right? So 
I was like, okay, I can make this work. So I'm doing the bingo board and I'm just filling in the bingo board as I go. I haven't made any bingos yet, but I'm just kind of filling it in as I go with the books that I am reading because that seemed like the easiest, most low pressure way to do it was just read the books that I need or want to read and then plug them in where they fit. And so far, it's working for me. That's going very well. That's going swimmingly, if you will. So we're loving that. But otherwise, it's just working, hanging out. Um, we've done a lot of library activities this summer. We do story time. We just go like check books out. So there's been just like a lot of, we haven't stayed in the house a lot unless I'm like actively like sprinting or filming or whatever um, a lot of our day-to-day -day activity is outside or at the library just because why stay in the house you know what I mean but it is hot out so it's been a little bit hard um, we've done like I said we've gone to the park we've done um, the movie in the park thing like we've done out, thing, out of the house things we also when we went and saw inside out too we also went to target and we walked around target and looked at stuff um but the closest target is like an hour away from us and so we don't go to target that often but i do plan on going back to target so i can buy some things uh from there so yeah, we have Walmart uh, down where I live, but Target is not a thing anymore. We used to have one a town over, um, but that one closed like years and years ago. Like that one closed like when I was in high school, I think, because my mom worked there for a time and then it closed. I just don't think that they got the business that they needed at that Target um, because the town is just too small and people are probably more prone to go to like Walmart or somewhere a little bit cheaper but I love Target um I love Target for their books I love Target for their shoes so yeah I think I do want to make some more trips to Target um in the very near future just because I that's just what I prefer to shop I yeah and after living in like a bigger city for a couple of years where I had access to Target it makes me sad to not have um as much access to Target as I used to but that's okay all right so I am not done kidding this up I've only just started honestly but I'm gonna go because I don't really have a lot else to say um, thank you so much for hanging out. Hopefully I can come up with better talking points for the next whip and chat. This was just kind of getting my feet back into doing whip and chats since I haven't done one in so long. If there is something that you want me to talk about or you have questions, you can always leave them in the like questions you want me to answer during a whip and chat. You can always leave them in the comments down below. I read all of my comments. Um, even if I don't reply to all of them, I try to go through and heart them all so that at least you guys know that I have seen them and acknowledged them but I'm still small enough that I can definitely read them all and I definitely do I actually love reading the comments because sometimes people give me book recommendations or they will at they will have questions that they want me to ask in the next group in chat and that's always fun because it gives me something to talk about I also will make it a priority this week to catch up on some of our favorite reality tv shows so that i can come back next week and talk about them with you but until then all of my links are down below as usual we have patreon we have instagram we have wish lists down there if you want to look at those and yeah that's really all that i have i appreciate y'all watching and like I said, leave me any comments or questions down in the comments section. And if you want to participate in the comments but you don't really have anything to say, go ahead and just leave me like a rainbow emoji since we talked about June a lot in this and in this weapon chat. And um, June was Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. 
and I hoped that people were seen in June. People that wanted to come out came out and it was a beautiful experience. And if it wasn't that you found people that made it a beautiful experience for you. And until next time, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.